Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Morant, um, since President Biden's been president, uh, how many non-American citizens have come into our country illegally or on the basis of a claim of asylum? Thank you, Senator. Um, HSI as an investigative agency is... Uh, how, how, do you know the number? No, Senator. You're a senior member of Homeland Security, are you not? That's correct. Does anybody know the number? None of you know the number. Try 8 million. Now, of that 8 million, how many were children, Mr. Morant? I don't have that number. You don't know. Does anybody know? None of you know. Isn't that special? Let's assume half. Okay. Eight million is four Nebraskas. Right? Four new states. Let's assume, I don't think it's as high, half of them are children. How many, of the, how many of those 8 million people are still here? Do any of you know? Okay. Um, how, many, how many of those 8 million are claiming asylum? You don't know? How many of them claim asylum and don't show up for their hearing? Nobody knows? How many of them claim asylum, don't show up for the hearing, and President Biden has deported them? You don't know? How, how many of them have claimed asylum, shown up for their asylum hearing, and been denied asylum, and been deported? You don't know. How many of them were from Mexico? You don't know. How about 30%? That means 70% were not, right? Surely you know the answer to that. 30% minus 100% is 70%. Am I right? Okay. It, let's, uh, 30% came from Mexico. Why don't you implement a safe third country policy that says under asylum, under our asylum rules, you have to seek asylum in the first safe country. So if you come, say, from Venezuela or, or Nicaragua or, 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 or another Central American com country, you have to seek asylum in, your, in the first safe country. Why don't you do that? And then that would eliminate 70% of the 8 million. That's 5.6 million. Why don't you do that, Mr. Morant? Is that a question, sir? Yes. That's All beyond, I've been asking are questions. That's beyond the purview of HSI. Oh, okay. How about you, Mr. Salazar? You're a former advisor to the vice president. How come we don't do a safe third country agreement? Sir, we're working with our partners in the region. 21 countries signed on to the Los Angeles Declaration. Have you done a safe third country agreement? You've had, what have you been at it, two years? What we are doing is working with them to expand legal pathways. Why doesn't President Biden get up in the morning tomorrow and say, we're changing the asylum process and we're doing what most other countries do, safe third country policy. You have to seek asylum. We support asylum. We have to seek asylum in the first safe country. That would eliminate 5.6 million people, boom, done, coming into our country illegally, wouldn't it? Sir, I just want to point out Washington. Wouldn't it? It, it would, sir, but there are activities okay. underway. Let me ask you this because I'm going to run out of time. President Biden and all of you believe in open borders, don't you? Don't you? I mean, I ask really basic questions. There are, I don't mean any disrespect. I appreciate you being here. And, and I know you all love our country as we all do. But 
I believe in straight answers. I like straight answers and breakfast food. And there are only one, two possibilities here. Either President Biden and his team believe in open borders or the people that the president has put in charge of the immigration policy of this country are not qualified to manage a food truck. And nobody's that incompetent. You, you folks believe in open borders, don't you? Sorry, I think we believe in secure borders. You believe in open Then you don't even know how... Well, I'm going to take 30 more seconds. You don't even know how many people have come in illegally since President Biden has been president? You're a former senior advisor to the Vice President of the United States, Mr. Salazar. And you can't even give me a number? No, sir. That's like going to an oncologist and asking him, what's cancer? And he says, I don't know. Give me a break. Senator Welch.